Hello everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. I have a book that kind of passed across the desk a few days ago and I said I had plans for it. I love the cover of this. Um, I like the color, I like this design. I'm not sure what all I will do to the outside, but I wanna make a glue book. I have some ephemera that I wanna show you really soon and I'm gonna be using it for this book, but I did want to share how I take the pages out to uh, take the bulk of this book down to something that I can uh, fill up and then it's not gonna be, you know, what do they call it, a, a gator mouth or, or whatever. This is the type of book where some of the signatures, part of the signature, part of every signature is sewn into place and you can see the threads there in the center. And I've discovered with this book that it's three pages per signature that are sewn in. And you can see how they just pull away from the rest of the signature. So I'm pulling these three out in every signature. You can see it leaves broken strings and I'm just cutting those out. I can do it as I go or do it later as I'm working my way through the book. I went ahead and cut those out. And the rest of these pages are glued into place, which is, is really nice. It's gonna make a fun book to work in. Once you see the ephemera that I have, I think you'll understand why I like the cover of this book. Here we are at another signature. So let's get our three pages, one, two, three, and just make sure so let's just pull those right out. Now one of those one of those pages had a tear. Here we go. And I will go ahead and just take these strings out. I've done pretty much the whole book. In fact, it it is just about the whole book. I just need to go back to this very first signature and find the thread. And some of these it was really hard to see it, but there it is. I did miss that first one. So let's get one, two, three pages. And I think now the book is completely ready for me to start gluing in. All of these pages that are left over, I'm gonna keep them and I will go through and pull out the pages that have the really, really cute nature images to go in my nature ephemera. This is the ephemera. <laughs> so I came across, um, this is gonna be loud, so let me dump this out and then I'll talk. came across a lot of ephemera that is theater and circus related. Now, I am not a fan of clowns, but some of these, this is more of a, um, like a theater or stage thing. I love that balloon. Uh, there's a hobby horse, and there, there will be some things in here that I'm sure I picked up that I won't use, but like a, there's a woman in costume Look at these circus images. And I thought it would be really fun to just take my time with this and glue, you know, cut cut these pages down to take out the, look at that, New Tent Theater. Harley Sadler and his own company. Folk Theater in a Tent. Someone really did a lot of collecting. That's a beautiful old image. Four Paw Brothers Circus. Oops, that's an old magazine about trains. That goes somewhere else. I think you can just see that this is slam full of pretty amazing vintage images. Lots of beautiful pictures and intriguing pictures. Some actual real photographs. That looks like maybe a Las Vegas showgirl. And 
definitely show girls here. Oh, look at that. Look at the color and the flowers. Traveling. What is that? Oh, that's talking about Blackbeard. So there are a few things in here that aren't related to the subject directly. <laughs> Bingo. An old bingo machine. There's a levitation. Looks like magic tricks. So this will be fun. It'll be fun to just go page by page. Look at this. I mean, there's more here. I don't have time to show you every single page in one video. This will definitely be fun to go through. So I'm going to try to keep this all together. And we're just going to glue. We're going to just glue and have a good time with gluing beautiful images in this book. And uh, lots of keys. Set those right in there. put in the very, very front. Look at the elephant. It's so sad how they're kept in captivity. A lot of this that was popular is really not considered appropriate or fair or um, humane at this point. So uh, I don't condone this like keeping elephants. They're beautiful, smart animals. Oh, look at that. Why did they look so pink? That would be pretty right in the front with that green. I would definitely have to I'm going to go to the paper cutter and cut those edges off. Mod Podge for this project. That one bristle needs to come away from the brush. It's, it's falling out and picking up. It was picking the Mod Podge up in a funny way. Just wondering if I want to take a little bit more off of here. I think I do. That's better. I don't know what I should call this book. I could call it the Vintage Circus. Oops, I don't want to go. This paper is thin and old. I have to get it right. And I didn't want to get Mod Podge on the front of that. It's going to wrinkle a little bit. I think that's just the nature of thin old paper and Mod Podge. Uh, but that's also going to kind of give it an old look. So that's... Seems good for now. That's a start. Let's move this big stack out of the way. Sometimes what I do is just stamp over the front of something. Um, it can just add to it that it has more than one title that makes sense. So we're going to get, let me grab it. Let's think about some letters here. If we call this the Vintage Circus, 
but I definitely want to measure out the letters before before I start stamping. P-I-N-T A-G-E We can move these in a little closer once we actually stamp, but that does fit the Vintage Circus. I've got my metal lid here for some alcohol ink. And we're gonna try the black. You know what, if we mess it up, it's a torn up old book anyway. So let's just try. Okay, that might have been TH. So I held the H there for too long. Um, and that's okay though. It looks old. V I N T T A G E. Got to get that in close enough. E I N. Okay, I need more ink. Uh, I wish I hadn't pressed so hard because it left that little mark to the side. There we go, that's okay. So we picked up the vintage and now we need circus. There we go, I love that. Now I don't know how you all feel about that. I may do something with this um, to get the name off of there. At this point, I, it's not clear to me what I wanna do though. So I'm not gonna rush it. I like this. I think it's really organic. I think it looks like something old that someone would have chosen to do to um, alter something into something else if they had had, you know, used just whatever was on hand. I don't like how wrinkled that is, but that's going to have to be okay too because it is on there. And yeah, I did a much better job on this side. It's kind of neat though it look old and I'm wondering what we have to go over that let's see I've been sort of infatuated lately with white white pencils on everything It's not doing enough. I want more than that. So maybe I need, I, 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 I wonder where my um, white gel pen is. It doesn't matter to me that we can't fully read this. Let's see, the Vintage Circus is a book. And let's put, I'll put my name. And I'll put the date. I'm going to put February 2021. Now, what would happen? If this is probably not even gonna open, I gotta get some more of this. It's almost gone. Is there anything?
Oh, look. It made that ink run a little bit. This is um, like a varnish. And I need, where's my bigger brush? Oh, I don't want to use a wet brush on there. Oh, that's bringing out the white. And I like that. Now varnish is, it's gonna dry. I wouldn't normally do any more art over the top of that, although we might figure out a way to glue some things in or add another layer, some kind of paste um, to tarnish it. I just don't know yet. But I really did wanna get started on this first page. I love the way it brought that white out. White out. I love the way it brought out the white. I think that's really pretty. Page by page, we're gonna work our way through this stock of all sorts of things. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. I am working on another prayer journal and I will be back with that before too long. But I did want to get started on this book and show you a new project that's going on out here. And I will see everybody really soon. Bye for now.